What's up everybody? Welcome back to Keto Rewind. I am Jess. Thank you for clicking on today's video. I have a week 239, I think, update of my weight loss journey or my journey to rewind my health from a morbidly obese weight to a healthy weight living a keto, low carb, and high protein lifestyle. At the end of the day, this is just my story, this is just my opinion, this is my experience. You do you, talk to your own doctor. Um, but if you wanna see weight loss inspiration, maybe a true reality, <laughs> or what an expectation of a weight loss journey, um, especially when you are morbidly obese or you started morbidly obese and you're trying to get to a healthy weight, definitely hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, give it a like, drop a comment, you know the drill. Um, and that really helps me out more than you know. So um, with that said, let's talk about our week, my week 239 update. Now, it has been, I guess we're in what, the second week of September now, and it's a new monthly weight loss challenge. And the challenge for this month is Selfish September Accountability uh, challenge and that is basically not feeling guilty about taking time for yourself. Um, I am so guilty of trying to pour from an empty cup. I will put all the fires out, I will take care of my family, and I will put myself on the back burner every single time. Unfortunately, years of that <laughs> um, thinking got me to 309 pounds. Um, and at some point you're pouring and nothing else can come out because it's empty. So the point of the September accountability challenge is to take that time for you and not feel guilty for being selfish. Selfish isn't always a bad thing. You do matter at the end of the day. You deserve 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour of your day, whatever makes, whatever you can squeeze in, you deserve that for you and only you. And spend that time getting that workout in, planning a menu, having self care, you know, like getting your nails done, you know, getting a massage, you know, like going for that walk, you know, whatever whatever makes you happy, whatever takes care of you to keep this in the sanity, <laughs> um, that is, that is okay. And you can't feel guilty about it. So I have been spending a quite a bit of time doing that. And I will, t I will say I'm surprised. I have been a lot happier as far as moods go because I'm making sure that I make that making time for me. And that kind of translated quite substantially lately and I can tell by my clothes that things have been working <laughs> because I bought these um, in New Hampshire before I came down sorry I can't really but there's a wall behind me but I bought these and they were they weren't tight um, but I didn't have the gaps that I have now so I have not been getting on a scale because I'm right now not in a headspace where I want to get on a scale like I want to judge it by clothes so this is something that's really rewarding is to putting on a pair of clothes I bought maybe four weeks ago and to see them fit with like gaps. <laughs> that means things are going in the right direction. So for me right now, that's why I haven't really been posting weight, uh, actual weights on my, you know, my weekly videos is because I don't, I don't know, I just gotten this like funk about hopping on the scale. So I'm like, you know what, we're gonna judge it by clothes. That's another great indicator of if things are working or not. So these ones, have really, uh, they fit so comfortable now. <laughs> so I'm happy to report things are working. I don't know how much, but things are moving. And that's because I feel good. I'm working on myself. I am taking time for me. I am being selfish to make sure I get everything I wanna get done in a day in. I'm reading books instead of turning to food. You know, like I'm just getting lost in the story instead of watching news or something that pisses me off. <laughs> you know, I'm just pulling up a book instead of scrolling on social media, watching the news or TV, and I'm just getting lost in the story. You know, like just taking that time and bringing that stress down, bringing insulin levels down, bringing it down, like the crazy bringing it down. <laughs> um, so I will, I will link in the cards the video of like the details for the challenge and whatnot. But please, please, please take that time for you. I can't, after four and a half years on this channel, I can say you can't pour from an empty cup. Take care of yourself first. Um, and that, that, that speaks volume and it works and you can't feel guilty about 
having some time for your own life, you know? So I had a great and productive week. It was our last week of triple digit heat in Texas. <laughs> so I'm like, yes, the high for today is only like 94 or something. It's low 90s. And it's like, it feels like a, a like it feels like I need a sweater after having like 109, 108, you know, like this triple digit heat. Just having a, have, seeing 70s again as the morning low is like, oh, lovely. So we have a great temperature week in general. So that means I'm definitely going to be spending a lot of time outside getting that fresh air, the morning walk, you know, all of that just works to help calm the crazy. So, and it makes me want to actually go outside and work out in my garage gym because it's not 108 degrees. <laughs> So it, it feels great out there and it makes me want to be out there and, and get my workout in. So I, I did that last week despite it being hot. I just was, uh, I'd always have to shower before I could film a video. <laughs> like I already went for a walk today and I didn't have to take a shower because I didn't sweat my 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 face off, you know, <laughs> or make my, my hair was straight. So it curled up a little, but I mean, it's just so nice and refreshing. So take the walk, go outside, get that fresh air. As far as recipe goes, I filmed a bunch of recipes this week, so they will be probably Wednesday or Thursday-ish, my video will be out. Um, but I had a really good one I'd wanted to film for a while. It's basically a chopped salad, and it is so good, especially on hot days where you don't wanna cook in the kitchen and get your house all hot for the summer. Um, and it's a great side that can pretty much go with anything, so any type of protein. So that will come up on Wednesday. But for this week, if things are working, you continue doing what's working. <laughs> so that is the plan for this week. We I, I planned out, I think, three different recipes that I have not made because I've been kind of in a recipe rut. Um, so I did some searching on the internet to find something that interested me and we're gonna make those recipes this week. Um, and that's one thing I can say, sometimes eating the same thing over and over kind of gets boring. So hop on Pinterest, do a Google search, go on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Search keto recipes, high protein recipes, the high protein, low carb, whatever, whatever type of keyword, and just see what, see what looks good and give them a try. Um, so anyways, that's what I do when I get in a recipe rut. Um, and then I always have my rescue recipes that I just are just brainless, mindless that I know how to do. But every once in a while, it's nice to throw a new one in your recipe lineup, right? So anyways, I did get a new gadget um, and this is really exciting. If you followed this channel for a long time, you know my husband and I are DIYers. We like to do stuff to make our house better, you know, that kind of thing. And you also know how much I love drinking water. So it's, it's probably because I talk about water so much that this like fell into my lap, but my new partner is the new Aqua Systems. I got a reverse osmosis water filter filtration system for my sink. And this way I can have fresh, filtered water that tastes delicious right out of the faucet. So I thought I'd share why I got a reverse osmosis water filter um, in the first place. And the most obvious <laughs> is my water that comes out of my tap uh, or my faucet in Texas tastes horrible. Like I can see why nobody wants to drink water. It literally tastes, oh, it makes me bleh, when I drink it. So that's why I had to invest in a Berkey water filter originally. And I also have filters in my refrigerator. You know, like just filter, filter, filter. So I have been in love with my Berkey water filter. It's this huge stainless thing you always see in the background on, on, in my videos, but that requires you to fill it up. Um, and it's like a three gallon I think the storage is three gallons, so it's judging by how much water my family uses, we fill that thing up two times per day. So it's annoying, but it tastes delicious. That I am a huge fan of a Berkey water system. However, <laughs> the convenience of having a second faucet on my sink, one that's just for drinking water that has a bigger tank, that is easier to use, more no requiring when it comes to filling it up and stuff because it automatically refills on its own was very appealing to me. So, and I also would free up counter space. So I, I got a, a reverse osmosis system. Here is the finished product. Now I'm gonna remove that Berkey. Bam. <laughs> Doesn't that open it up so much better? I still can, you know, not that it was, that cumbersome but it just now I can decorate my shelf <laughs> and you know put fun candles here and stuff like that 
and not have that big thing blocking. <laughs> and for the reverse osmosis water faucet, it's definitely smaller than the larger one. So if guests come over, <laughs> they won't wash their hands with this one. This is the one we wash the hands with. This is the city water. Um, there's my soap dispenser and then my, I have only one hand here, so <laughs> there's the perfect filtered water and then it turns off. Cool, huh? So because drinking water and getting your water in and actually drinking it and tasting like enjoying what you're drinking um, is so important in a weight loss journey. It makes sense, you know, I, I, and it was something that could be installed on our own. We didn't need to get a plumber or anything like that. Um, and it was really simple to do. So I thought I'd share it all with you guys and see if you guys are interested in a new aqua system as well. So I got the five filter water system. Um, and that's basically the five, it has five filters in a storage tank. Everything stores underneath your sink cabinet. It wires right in, or it wires, it, it plums right into your existing plumbing. And I also have a um, garbage disposal. So I'm gonna show you how to work around all of that. So anyways, let's go downstairs and I'll show you what we have in the unboxing part and what exactly it looks like. All right, so Kyle's gonna open up our new Aqua. I think it's the five part water series. First things first, we've got the paperwork. Register your warranty. Big stop though. And there's a, I will put a link down here then, or at the bottom with the YouTube video on how to install it. And it also comes with the installation in print as well if you don't wanna do YouTube videos. But I found the YouTube video very helpful. <laughs> okay, so the big box has four smaller boxes. So we're gonna open these. So the big part, the big one is the storage tank and then you have all the filters. So, and each one is very clearly labeled Appears to be faucet. Oh, there's the faucet, okay. It's all assembled, that appears to be- The assembly for the uh, filter house. All the, all the filters. Everything's pretty much ready to go. A reverse osmosis membrane and hardware. Okay, so take all of the filters out of the plastic wrapping and keep the direction of the filter going that correct way. Um, you don't want the filter upside down. It's made to go a certain way. Um, and then you have the up, the in and the out little connectors. Um, Kyle is gonna demonstrate how they go in each one in just a second. So um, all you're gonna do is just, all you're gonna do is put the connector in each side. This side, that red tube is gonna go right in there, making it super easy. So that one faces up. Um, pretty foolproof, remove the plastic clip, put the tube or the water tube, whatever it's called, <laughs> into that hole and push it as hard and as far as it will go. And then reinsert that retention clip to hold it there and repeat on the other side. <laughs> That's why it's pretty simple. Um, that tube is right there. And then also so you know which label is which, put the sticker on each of the filters so you know which replacement filter it goes in each slot. Um, and then also it tells you which order they go into as well because the sticker has the number one, two, and three. So it's pretty foolproof. And it, again, you can watch the directions. You can read the, the book. Um, lots of different ways to do this. So um, again, before you put the... Uh, filter in, make sure that O-ring is sitting down in there. This all just prevents leaks and it just saves you a step when you're all assembling everything. So put number two in number two slot <laughs> and then that one in three and three slot and then you're gonna take the uh, wrench, I guess, whatever that thing's called and then you're just gonna tighten it up as snug as you can do it without breaking it. Um, and we had to do it a couple times just to make sure it was nice and snug. But remember, righty tighty, <laughs> lefty loosey, um, and do that for each of the filter housings. And then once that's all set, you are ready to go on to the next step. So at this point, we have uh, another filter to add in on the top. So at this point, you're going to put the connector that goes on top of the tank, and it, they provided the plumbing tape, I'm not sure what the fancy term is, but you're gonna put that on the top of the tank and go clockwise at least three times so you've got a decent amount of tape on there. And again, this is gonna help prevent leaks and 
it's real simple. <laughs> so once that tape is on there, you're going to put the connector back on the top of the tank. And of course, there's always somebody judging and watching <laughs> Cinderella the kitty. Um, and then put the, the connector right on top of the tank and it's ready to go. Make sure you have it so that the top is closed right off the bat. You don't want that open yet. So put that blue handle going closed, which is the opposite from what's shown right now. Uh, put the nut on there to keep anything out of the tank until you're ready to install it. And then we have one last filter to add in there and that's the, the blue filter. This one was a little bit more... Uh, challenging to get in because it has the o-ring so make sure when you press that on in there it is fully inserted uh we did not do that all the way and the cover wouldn't go on so make sure you just all the way in there and then on the other side of that wrench there's another shape <laughs> of wrench so that one is for this particular uh tightening part all right and that's what it looks like all put together all up. <laughs> for this stage now what's next now, I believe we have to go under the sink. All right, the fun part. <laughs> and just to show you what we have, are working with, this faucet is gonna stay just like that. There'll be another hole drilled right here that this faucet for the reverse osmosis system will go, and then we have the soap dispenser. And then that gets to leave <laughs> the counter, and everything will be nice and streamlined and pretty. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is move the soap dispenser hole over and we'll put the foot, the water filter faucet here. So you want to line it all up, get it pretty centered where you want it, because once you drill the hole, it's final. <laughs> so measure, measure, measure. One eternity later. One eternity later. Now we have the new hole for the soap dispenser. And we have the new faucet for the water dispenser. So now we're gonna hook it all up from this point forward. So quick disclaimer, Kyle and I are not licensed plumbers. We're just average people. <laughs> we do, our, we're familiar with plumbing just because we do like to do uh, like remodeling and stuff like that in our own personal stuff. But we, you do not need to be a plumber to be able to install this. It was very simple, very straightforward. In total, all in all, it was about half an hour to install the system. So I highly recommend it. So that is my video for today. I'm gonna put a discount code for you down below. Use coupon code Keto Rewind in the special link in the description box down below. And this way you can save on your reverse osmosis system. I highly recommend this one. And yeah, so I will see you tomorrow when I upload part two of the video or the Actual installation of the new aqua system reverse osmosis platinum 5 series filters so I will see you guys tomorrow I'm Jess you're watching keto rewind bye bye